we are going to be able to grow our own robots, integrate them with uh, intelligence and silicon, and create new beings that have capabilities that we can't even imagine now around uh, being able to navigate our human world. In 2116, I am woken up gently by my personal robotic assistant who has already prepared my breakfast to let the kids know that there's a dance recital tonight and they should be prepared for that. And they've taken the dog out for a walk. Maybe I've just checked into my virtual reality system and I am operating my personal robotic avatar who is attending my workplace today, going to some meetings, speaking to some students, because I'm actually in Hamburg and I'm working in Vancouver. Here in the Keras Lab at UBC, uh, we're kind of robot kindergarten. So we're teaching robots how to share, how to th hand things over, how to take turns, how to find their way around the lab without getting lost. These basic behaviors that allow uh, people and robots to operate together and for people to understand and communicate with robots and, and really know what they're up to.